My first name is Markyan, if you want to pronounce it in Ukrainian, Markyan Kovalyuk. I try to preserve the past. Well, I think that uh, a recording is made for the future, not for the present, so that the future generations may benefit from it. The people in, in the future might be able to see what the Ukrainian or other communities were doing here in Edmonton in the past. If the future generations would be interested, they would look at it and say, oh, this is how the people used to dress. This is how the people looked. This, this is an important person, for example. It could be one of these sources of time machine where a person would travel into the past without actually being there. When the past is already ended, that is the end. The only way a person could re-enter the past is by having some sort of a recording of it. And he could virtually be in the past, but not physically. And these use what, what is known as a memory chip. This is how a memory chip looks. It was in, in the 1980s. A friend came to me and said, I have a video camera. Would you, want, or would you be interested in it? And I said, well, it depends what the price would be. And he offered me a price that I couldn't refuse, and I got it. I think probably if, if I add it all up, that I have recorded over close to a thousand hours of video time during all these years. Originally, I was an artist. I was painting and trying to record events on canvas. And then finally, I figured that it takes quite a long time to make a canvas, and I decided that it's much quicker and much easier just to use a camera. So I have probably about six or eight Ukrainian churches here in Edmonton where I have filmed Ukrainian demology, well, the Ukrainian National Hall. Uh, some of the favorite events are the concerts. Nowadays, when I start recording, uh, people are not too favorable in me recording. Because they say, oh, you have to have speaker's signature, you have to have speaker's permission, you have to have the uh, hall's permission, and it says you're getting t too technical. I don't seem to like all these restrictions. It makes me feel very upset when somebody tells me to shut my camera off and get out. And some people just don't understand it. These were just isolated events. Many of the events that I recorded, people just uh, were very happy to see that something is being recorded. In fact, I see more and more people recording now. Some of the people are just recording certain events or 10 or 20 minutes with their telephone camera. Well, I think that uh, it's good that somebody is following my footsteps because uh, back in the old days, I was probably the only one. I sort of feel proud that I have accomplished something. I just came here to record some of the important events and they sort of might consider me to be a reporter.